Algebra 1, number 5.12. These are reasoning strategies, and we're going to talk about word problem strategies of making a table and looking for a pattern. When we're trying to solve word problems that involve numerical relationships, we can make a table or look for a pattern. And the tables help us organize our data, our information. When our information is organized, it's easier for us to see the patterns. And there's usually more than one way to solve a problem. We can use logic, drawing a diagram or a graph. We can try, test, revise our guess. That's like guess and check. We can simplify the problem, try solving an easier one. We can write an equation. We can even work backwards if a table or a pattern won't help us. And one method could be used to check another method's answer, couldn't it? Okay, so here's our word problem. Emma was offered two jobs. Job A had a starting salary of $50,000 plus an annual raise of $2,000 each year for the next 10 years. Job B had a starting salary of $58,000 plus an annual raise of $1,000 each year for the next 10 years. After 10 years, both jobs offered an annual 5% raise. So they're the same at that point. Which job would pay the most in the 10th year? So, to find the amount of salary increases, we can make a table for each job, and we can look for a pattern to complete the table. So, let's look at our question again, our word problem again. She's got a choice of job A or job B. This one pays $50,000 and then $2,000 a year raise. This one pays $58,000 and then $1,000 a year raise. So, which one should she pick? So, we made two tables, one for job A and one for job B. This one starts at 50000 and goes up by 2000 each year. See? See the pattern of going up by 2000 This one started at 58000 and goes up by 1000 each year. Well, on year two, she's only making 52000 here, but she's making 59000 at this job, isn't she? And by the time we get down to 10 years, we can see that this job is paying 68000 where this one's only paying 67000 Hmm, so this one started higher, but now she's making more at job A. Which job should she pick? What about if we looked at what happens in the year 11 when she gets the 5% increase? Now she's at 71400 where this one she's at 70350 So she's still making more in this one, isn't she? Now, the way I found the percentage increase, it's a 5% increase. It could be written as a decimal as 0 0.05, see? We just multiply it by the 68,000. That tells us the amount of the raise, and we add it to the 68,000 to get the 71,400. And if we wanted to add 5% to that one, we multiply this number to the 0 0.05. See? And we just keep doing it and doing it. So now, which job do you think she should take, A or B? Well, guess what? To really know which job she should choose, she should total the annual salaries for the overall 10 years. Unless she wasn't planning on being there for 10 years, if she was only planning on being there for three years, then it would be smarter to take job B, wouldn't it? Because she'd be at 60000 But if she was planning on being there the whole 10 years, guess what? When we totaled up all these numbers here, I got a total of a 10-year earning of $590,000 from job A. But when I totaled up all the salaries from job B for the 10 years, I got a total of $625,000 for working 10 years. Look at the difference. There's a $30,000 difference between the two jobs. This one would end up paying more over 10 years than this one by $30,000. So she might be smarter to take this one, right? Now, if you want to know where you can find more algebra word problems, I have an actual algebra word problem playlist. And there'll be a link in this video's description so you can go to it, okay? There's quite a few word problems in there, just about every kind you can think of, all right? So we're going to move on to Chapter 6, and we're going to talk about polynomials and how to factor them, okay? The whole chapter is about polynomials and factoring. All right, I, I'll see you there. Bye.